Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today we're going to be installing a set of Alpine SPV 65 JLT two-way six and a half inch component speaker upgrades for the 2018 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL and the 20 and newer Jeep Gladiator JT. Before I dive into today's install and review, if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon, so be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Alpine is really raising the bar, pun intended, with this two-way, six and a half inch, weather-resistant component speaker set for both the Wrangler and the Gladiator. They've specifically been designed and tuned for the sound bar found in your Jeep to deliver a louder and more powerful output to allow you to enjoy your music no matter how you like to drive your Jeep, especially so that your music won't get lost in any wind noise if you like to drive around with your top and doors removed. Now the components include everything you need to get them bolted into your Wrangler with an easy plug and play style installation using a factory style connector that plugs right into the factory wiring found in your soundbar. Not only does it include two of the component sets as well as new hardware, you're also going to get two polyfill sheets to help fill out and give you a nice, deep, rich sound from your soundbar. You're also going to get a cutting template that's going to take all the guesswork out of the trimming required to make a little extra space for those larger six and a half inch speakers. Now it is worth noting that the SPV 65 JLT components are designed for the base audio system found in the Wrangler and the Gladiator. So that means they are not compatible if you already have the factory premium Alpine amplified audio system in your Jeep. Now if we take a closer look at one of the component speaker sets, we see we get a great looking rugged speaker grill here. It's easy to see that Alpine took some design cues from their X409 nine inch in-dash restyle system. So if you already have that installed in your Jeep, well, these are gonna complement it and look great. However, it is worth noting that these do not require you to have the X409 installed in your Wrangler or your Gladiator. They have been designed to be compatible with all radios, including the factory base radios. However, they are gonna sound a bit better if you have an aftermarket radio that can deliver a little more power to them like that X409. And if you add on the Alpine PSS 23 WRA powered subwoofer kit, well, it's gonna make them sound even better still. If we go ahead and flip over one of the component speakers here, we can see what we're getting in each one of the speaker sets on the back side. I already went ahead and removed the factory speakers from the passenger side in my Gladiator to show you the difference here. The factory is using a three inch paper tweeter and a four inch paper mid driver. The Alpine SPV 65 JLT jumps up to a one inch Teteron dome style tweeter that's going to deliver crisper, cleaner, high frequency outputs. And then of course we're going to jump from a four inch mid bass driver to a larger six and a half inch speaker. If we flip the factory speaker over, we can see the incredible size difference between the magnet on the back of the factory speaker and the six and a half inch component speaker. It's easy to see that the Alpine speaker is gonna be able to handle more power and deliver more output than this factory four inch speaker would. We also have that factory style connector on the backside here that's gonna plug right into the factory wiring found in your soundbar. The SPV 65 JLT components are designed to handle 90 watts RMS power with a peak output at 270 watts. Now getting them installed is a pretty easy process. The first step we need to do is to go ahead and remove the four five millimeter Allen head bolts holding that factory speaker grill in place. Next we can remove the five T20 Torx bolts, two holding the factory tweeter and three holding the factory mid driver. Once you have those removed, we can disconnect the speakers and set them aside. Next, we can remove the four T30 Torx bolts from the port and remove that from the soundbar as well. Using the supplied template, you can install it using four of the factory screws that held the factory speaker grill in place. And we can use it as a guide to complete the trimming required, or you can simply grab a marker and mark the area that needs to be trimmed away and then remove the template and complete the cutting using either a reciprocating aerosol or your favorite cutting tool. And you just wanna be very careful not to cut too deep as some areas of the soundbar are pretty shallow and you don't wanna cut through the backside. 
With all the trimming completed, we can go ahead and grab one of the polyfill sheets and pull it apart to take up some of the negative airspace found inside the soundbar. And finally, we can grab one of the Alpine six and a half inch components, connect the wiring to the factory wiring in the soundbar, and then install it in place using four of the new screws provided with the speakers. And now that we have the driver's side bolted up, all we have to do is go ahead and repeat those same steps over on the passenger side, and that'll take care of the install of our brand new Alpine SPV 65 JLT two-way six and a half inch component replacement speakers for the 2018 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL and 20 newer Jeep Gladiator JT soundbar. If you guys want to get more information or to purchase a set for your Jeep, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the Alpine component speakers or how to get them installed, you can always leave those down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.